The Battle of Los Angeles is in the books, and the winner is the best two-loss team in America. We once thought it was Auburn, maybe Ole Miss. Best two-loss team in the United States is UCLA. The Bruins mauled USC 38-20. to the, the game wasn't that close. I thought this was going to be classic USC-UCLA. I thought this was going to be just an exceptional game. I saw... Um, even matches across the board, I believed UCLA would win it if you checked out our predictions with Brett Hundley being the difference. And yet he was a difference in the game. He had an exceptional game, 326 yards passing. He made the one big blunder, uh, telegraphing the pass in the right flat, picked off for a touchdown. USC jumping up 7 to nothing. But all in all, Brett Hundley made few mistakes, 22 of 31 uh, again, 326, three touchdowns, and that one interception that put the Bruins in the hole 7 0. Uh, Hundley threw two wide open targets all night. And uh, again, we thought and, and talked about in our game preview um, with a couple writers and also our game predictions that Hundley would be the difference in that he was a more uh, mobile quarterback, of course, than Cody Kessler, who's been playing exceptionally well. But that difference making ability in the running game would be the difference. But I really think the difference in this game was the UCLA defense. It harassed Cody Kessler all night. Kessler's been uh, just ripping up defenses in the Pac-12, especially over the last five or six games. 29 touchdowns, three picks coming in. And Kessler, again, harassed all night. He um, had a decent uh, statistical night, over 200 yards, but it was masked by uh, a lot of garbage time yardage. Uh, trying to catch up, uh, going down 38-14 in the third quarter to this UCLA team. Sacked six times. Cody Kessler really never got comfortable in this game. Uh, his timing was off. He was uh, the, the rush really got in his head, it appeared. He wasn't delivering the football with confidence. And the UCLA defense, while focusing on shutting down Kessler, getting the ball to Nelson Aguilar, also focused on the run game, and Buck Allen limited to just a 12-yard long run. So I think that was the, the most important stat here is that Buck Allen uh, gained 14 uh, carries for 60 yards, so a decent yards per carry average. But overall, the long run was only 12 yards for Buck Allen as a UCLA wins its third consecutive game against USC. So after losing 12 of 13, uh, UCLA behind Jim Mora has come back in this series to gain Los Angeles in a stronghold uh, three straight for the Bruins. And again, Jeff Albrecht and that defense was lights out as UCLA. I think if you scan the country, uh, you can make a pretty good case as the best two loss team and possibly better than some one loss teams. And who knows, maybe better than a zero loss team out in the ACC. UCLA now sets up for a game against Stanford. And if they can take care of business against a six and five Stanford team, then they go to the Pac-12 championship game. And a rematch against Oregon, they will have to travel to Oregon uh, for that game. It's a, a home site game, and, and the Ducks would have the better record having defeated UCLA and coming in most likely, most likely uh, going to be 10-1 and one after they take care of, as expected would be, Oregon State next week. So again, UCLA, really good team. Uh, we expected it in the preseason. I thought the the calls for a college football playoff team was a bit uh, early, uh, that this team would be ready next season. I don't know. They're playing about as well as anybody in America right now, just about. So they are definitely the 7th or 8th best team in the country. They've got the 8th, 7th uh, or 8th best track record or resume of anybody in America. So UCLA... You would think anybody with two losses is out, uh, but they've taken the place of an Ole Miss or an Auburn in having the best resume for a two-loss team. And if they get a whole lot of help and really look impressive in amending a loss against Oregon and get the rematch against the Ducks, maybe UCLA sneaks in. The Pac-12 considered very strong. Need to hear from you now. Let's talk about UCLA football. Uh, also about USC, the, the defense wore down. They were gassed. They were run over in this one. I, I, I see this team. I look at it. Uh, we talked about it in the previews. I'm still, uh, I'm still impressed with the talent uh, in spots. is overwhelming, but just not the depth. Uh, they don't have the consistency nor the depth, and they need more playmakers on offense uh, besides Aguilar on the outside. But they'll get there. 
uh, under Steve Sarkeesian, I would think. Uh, he has everything going for him there at USC. Now that is, he's got his full complement of scholarships. Okay, USC-UCLA talk. Let's talk it up right here on Mark Rogers TV.